for today's video. Obviously, I'm going to be showing you how to conceal your eyebrows. I don't have any other makeup on because I'm just going to go into the makeup tutorial that I'm going to be filming next, which this is kind of a part of, but if I do any other makeup tutorials for the Halloween season that need my eyebrows covered, I figured that I could just make a whole video on how to do it. That way I'm not showing you every single time how to do it. And that's something you could honestly skip over if you didn't want to go all out and cover your brows for the makeup look. You could skip that over. So this is for you guys that really want to know how to cover your eyebrows. So if you want to see exactly how I did it, then just keep on watching. Take a glue stick and really rub it all around your brow hairs. You want it on both sides so that when you glue it down, it sticks to your skin more easily. So don't be gentle. Really get in there and go round and round with the glue stick to coat every individual brow hair. Go through it with a spoolie. You can get these spoolies at Sally's or even online. I think that's the best place to buy them because you can get a lot for a very low price. Then take that spoolie and brush the hairs in the way that they're growing. You don't want to brush them in the way that your brows naturally lay because that's going to make them raised up a little bit more. So make sure to brush them upwards in the way that they would normally grow if we didn't comb them. At this time, the glue will be a little bit tacky, so it's going to be a little bit hard to comb them through, but that's okay. Just make sure that you have them brushed nicely so that they're laying flat. Go in with any kind of loose translucent powder. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD powder. This just makes it so that the next layer you put on goes on a lot more smoothly, and it also helps you see the hairs that need to be attended to more. Go through with your finger just to ensure that they are laying nice and flat and then you want to repeat the first step except this time you don't want to go all around the hairs like we did the first time. You just want to make sure you're going in the same direction that we just laid the brow down. Next, grab a spatula and take chunks from the glue stick itself and really layer it on your brow. Don't be stingy with this. You really want to pack this on because this is what's going to make it look the smoothest and really cover up those brows. So I realized that the easiest way to do this is to start in the middle and then smooth it down. Now for the boring part, you just want to wait for this to dry. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes and letting it dry is very important. Once your brows are completely dried and you'll know that they're dry because you won't see the glue anymore, Grab the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk or any kind of white foundation or anything that's white in general and I took a concealer brush and just pat this over the brows. You want to be very gentle with this because again it is glue and they're gluing down your brows so if you are really rough it's just going to pick it back up. And then we're going to go in with an orange eyeshadow. I'm using these two from the BH Cosmetics palette. And the reason that we're doing this is because the brows are so dark and it's easier for foundation to cover up a lighter color like orange since that's closer to our natural skin tone. If you're familiar with the technique on how to cover a tattoo, it's kind of the same idea. Whenever you go over ink, you want to cover it with like a lighter, more rosy or orangey color because that cancels out the color of black ink. Same idea with the brows. So now that I'm looking really hot, <laughs> we're going to cover it up with some concealer. I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in number 6. This concealer is a little bit too dark for me, but that's okay because we're going to go in with something else next. So you just want to make sure that you pat this on all over. You can use your finger, you can use a brush, and just again, be very gentle. And then go in with any foundation or concealer that you're going to be using. I use the Prolong Wear Foundation and Concealer from MAC Cosmetics. You don't have to use both. This is just what I was using for the tutorial that I was filming during this. But you just want to go over that. You can use a beauty blender sponge. You can use a brush. Whatever you feel works best for you, just make sure to get it on there. At some points, I felt like it was easier to use my finger because my finger was so smooth. And with a brush or a sponge, sometimes it can pick up the product that you laid down. So I used my fingers at some points just to smooth it out. And last but not least, you just want to cover it with some powder. I used the Makeup Forever HD powder. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you liked this video and thought it was interesting. I had 
a lot of fun filming it actually because it's really weird to see yourself without eyebrows. Once I've filmed all of my other Halloween tutorials, I will link them down below in the information box. So if you're interested in seeing those and where you can use this tutorial in those, then you can click them down below if that made any sense at all. But yes, I really hope that you learned something new and let me know any questions, comments, or requests down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video.